be a reflection of what you have like to receive if you want to be truth be truthful if you want honesty be honest if you want respect then give respect what you give out will return to you with this god of me of me that yes wish you a very good afternoon to all yeah i safina wish you a very good afternoon all of you Welcome to the grand live session of the NCDC 30th batch based on school organization. Welcome, welcome all of you. Welcome all of you. Please welcome. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yes. Prayer has the power of creating a positive atmosphere. It helps us to attain the significance of ethical values. Now, let us talk to Almighty, the creator of all universe. Join your hands and close your hands. Close your eyes. So we welcome our Gita ma'am for prayer. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome, ma Gita ma'am. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Bless me, God. Bless me. Bless me, only. I am your little baby. Please protect me. You are my papa. You are my mama. You are my world as well. Pat me always. Hug me always. With your I can see you in every rainbow. I can see you in the moon. I can't touch you, but I feel you always in my love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Gita, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Apni? Apni? Can you hear me, Apni? Yes, Safina. You heard about Kalari Pai too? Yeah, I heard of Kalari Pai. It's a martial art, right, Daphne? Yes, yes, it's a martial art of Kerala. Yes, our okay. friends, our team, Red Chilies. They were signing with Kalari Pai too. Okay, we can yes, watch. Welcome, Red Chilies. Yes, welcome, Red Chilies, for signing session. Thank you, ma'am.
So it's we actually signing for today's session. Wow. Super, 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 super ma'am. Super, super, super actually. Yes. Safina? Yes, yes, Safina. Yes. Next to us, Silambatam. You heard about Silambatam? Yeah, Silambatam. I know, I know Silambatam. Yeah, yes. we can search the Silambatam. Yes, yes, the traditional art, martial art of Tamil Nadu. Okay? Yeah, Tamil Nadu. I heard about that. Welcome, Lotus. Wow, super, super, ma'am. Wow, super, 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 we are coming yeah. up with a comedy show, comedy talent show with a ramp walk. With wow. Trailer, vegetable can trailer. Can you ramp walk up here? With Jugano song. Yay. Yes. Yeah. Wow, superb, superb, marvelous, man. Amazing, amazing. Wow. Well done. Well done, well done, all of you. Well done. Good performance, right, Tapni? Yes, yes. This is so yeah. nice. Yes, yes. I enjoyed. Yes, Afina. Yes, we can move. We can move to our lesson activities. Yes. Yes. Okay. Firstly, it was his speech. You heard about Henry Five's principle? I heard about, but uh, actually, 
i not get clarified but i want to clarify in the topic don't worry sir you want a clarification right here our words is me that ma'am is here for you yeah okay okay, okay. 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 Yes, we welcome our Susmita, ma'am, for the speech about Henry Fire's principle. Welcome, ma'am. Welcome, welcome, Susmita, ma'am. Welcome, ma'am. Welcome, ma'am. Welcome. Thank you, ma'am. Thank welcome. you. Yes, ma'am. I am here to present a speech about Henry Fire's principles of management. Here, do you uh, you all know that management? What is management? We all manage in our house, right? we have, we are uh, we are the housewives so we should prepare a home very well right that is a successful management we we all coordinate all the activities in our home like our kids study our household activities everything we do it in a good manner then we can become a good housewife right in that way management means management is a system to coordinate the effort of all individuals in a common object then management is the sum total of all the activities and process for getting things done from the a group of individuals having common objectives planning organizing directing staffing and coordinating these all are the main functions of management of course we heard about our henry fred he is known as the father of modern management theory he gave a new perspective view of the concept of management he introduced a general theory that can be applied to all levels of management and every department the fios theory is practiced by managers to organize and realize regulate the internal activities of the organization yeah, i am explaining some of henry fios principle the first one is the division of work division, division of work means work should be divided among individuals and group to ensure that effort and attention are focused on a special portions of the task fire presented work specialization as the best way to use human resources of the organization it improves productivity efficiency accuracy and speed of the work suppose example yeah we all uh, went for marriage functions right yes yeah in that marriage function uh, suppose like we take an example for uh, eating eating the food how they prepare they are prepare for many process like uh, collecting the vegetables cutting the vegetables cook uh, cleaning the vegetables and uh, preparing the food these all things and uh, serving it in a good manner these all are happens in that marriage function right in the same way each person uh, that each person's ability if a person is uh, expert in cutting the onions or cutting the vegetables yeah we should give the work to them right if a person is expert in cooking we can give that cooking part to that person in that way in an in an organization we should give the division of work we should uh, first of all we should analyze, analyze we in which part that employee is expert then we give the work to that person that is simply means the division of work hope you all of you understand these things right next important principle is authority and responsibility the concept of authority and responsibility are closely related authority was defined by prior as the right to give orders and the power to exact obedience authority facilitate the management to work efficiently and responsibly make the make the responsible for the work done under the guidance of leadership that, that means in a in a family yeah suppose we give, i give an example in a family father is the most powerful person right or mother right they give instructions to the children how to do that things how to behave in front of others 
how to do their homework or how to do the household activity. That that uh, the authority is our father and mother. They give instructions to the children. They obey obey the rules, right? In that way, in an organization, there is an authority, supreme authority is there. They give instructions, and that subordinates should obey that instructions of the other. That means authority and responsibility. That uh, the subordinate have the responsibility to do all, all the works. If uh, what the authority is given to them, that means authority and responsibility. Next one is discipline. Yeah, we know, we all know what is discipline. Discipline is a. Uh, we cannot avoid discipline. Of course, we all know that discipline is a very important part of our life. Without discipline, we cannot accomplish anything. Right? It is the core value for the object or any management. A successful organization requires the common effort of the worker. And good performance and sensible interrelation makes the management job easy and comprehensive. That means discipline should be in the firm. If a uh, uh, if a person uh, if a worker didn't uh, obey the rules of that authority or that company, that will make a conflict in in that organization. That, that will badly affect the organization. So so we should take care that discipline is the very important one thing in the. Management. Okay, then next one is unity of command. Yeah, according to uh, Fayol, this means an employee should have only one goal and follow his commands only. If an employee has to follow more than one goal, there begins a conflict of interest and create confusion. Suppose we uh, uh, example in uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I early told that example that um, and that uh, that functions in the marriage ma in the marriage function. Yeah, we give an event management management team to coordinate the all uh, parts of that uh, things, all part of that marriage. If that uh, person there is a two manager in that event management, one will tell uh, one person to co collect the flowers, and other person also tell the, him to collect uh, that furniture. What he do? There is a conflict uh, will arise in that uh, firm, right? In that way, we should obey. We should that worker should be, uh, have only one boss, and he should obey that part, uh, that manager only. This is known as unity of command. Okay, the unity of direction is the next principle. Yeah, this means whoever is engaged in the same activity should have. Unified goal. Suppose we have, uh, yeah, unified. Goal. This means all the persons working in a company should have only one goal, one goal and motive. Everybody should do for that goal. Everybody should achieve that goal, which will make the work easier and achieve the set goal easily. That is mean by unity of direction. And next principle given by Henry Fayol is subordination of individual interests. Yeah, this means this indicates the worker should work unitedly towards the interest of the company rather than personal interest. Be subordinate to the purpose of an organization. This refers to the whole chain of the command in a company. We heard that unity is the power, right? We, we all heard that unity is the power. If we all work for a same goal, then the result will be very high. If some, uh, if uh, someone like, uh, if we, uh, someone have the any suggestions, uh, like, uh, yeah, we can do it in a way. Uh, another person have another interest, but in an organization, we don't follow them. We should follow only one goal according to the company's rule. So that is the one principle of Henry Fire. The next one is an, another import, important one that means remuneration. Remuneration, what we mean is that in an organization, so many workers and employees are there. According to their post, we should give some salary or wages to them. Then only they can work according to their duties. If, uh, yeah, this plays an important role in motivating the workers of a company. Remuneration, remuneration can be monetary or non-monetary. 
However, it should be according to an individual's effort they had made. We can give some promotions or some uh, increments for them to their effectiveness. Then they will happy and they will do more effectively their work. This is known as remuneration. We can uh, we can give some awards to them for their uh, work. In that way, we can motivate them to work. That is the another principles of hundred five. And next one, last one is centralization. In any company, the management or any other is responsible for the decision making process. Should be neutral. Henry Five stressed on the point that. There should be a balance between the hierarchy and the division of workers. That means in any organization, that hierarchy means from above, above to below, there is a uh, step by step process. That your in top position, there should be manager or board of directors should be there. Next to one, uh, next to downward is managers, and next to down is uh, that uh, some uh, assistant managers. Next is coming the clerks. Next is coming that unions or office staff. This this is the hierarchy of a firm. We can give that a uh, person their own duty. Then only we can uh, become a successful management. Successful management. Thank you all. Thank you all for hearing my speech. Thank you. Wow, super, 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 Management is the process of planning, organizing, staffing, directing, and controlling the human resources, financial, physical, and information resources of an organization to reach its goal efficiently and effectively. Then, management has many phases. That is to say, managers have many styles and management has many types. Here I present some most common type of management. Sales management. Sales management is a business discipline uh, which is focused on the practical application of sales techniques and the management of a firm's sales operation. It is an important business function as net sales through the sale of products and services and presenting profit drive most commercial business. Next is um, procurement management. Procurement management is also referred to as the source to settle process. It, is, uh, it encompasses the evaluation, selection, and creation of formal contractual agreements, as well as managing the company's ongoing supply relationship. Yes, um, procurement is a complex discipline uh, spanning many interle interrelated activities. The procurement management process includes uh, transactional purchasing of goods and services and integrates with accounts payable to complete the source to settle uh, by providing supporting documents to help with the processing of supplies involved in payment. Next is uh, financial account management. It is the original form of accounting that deals with preloading business transactions and summarizing the data into reports, uh, which are presented to the users so that financial decisions can be made fresh. Um, Patiently, on the other hand, management accounting is it is a uh, field of accounting that studies managerial aspects. It deals with the provision of financial data to the company's management so that they can make rational economic uh, decisions. Then uh, next is IT management. 
it is the discipline whereby all the information technology resources of a firm are managed in uh, audience with uh, its needs and priorities. Uh, this resource may include tangible investment like computer, hardware, software, data, network, and data center facilities, as well as the staff who are hired to maintain them. Then R&D management, that is research and development. It is the discipline of designing and leading R&D process, managing R&D organization, and ensuring smooth transfer of new know-how technology to other groups of department involving the innovation. Next is uh, HR management, that is human resource management. It is a strategic approach to the effective and efficient management of the people in a company or organization such that they help their business gain a competitive advantage. It is designed to maximize employee performance in service of an employer strategic object. Yes, thank you, ma'am. Wow, superb, superb, ma'am. Superb, superb, ma'am. Super, super, wow, wow. Super, 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 the one I said, DEO from the Department of Education, and uh, another one I said, Master in the school. Yeah, please welcome, Afni Dame. Please welcome, welcome, ma'am. Please welcome, Jai Dame. Thank you. Thank you, ma Thank you Safina, ma'am. Thank you so much. Yes. Good morning, ma'am. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I'm fine. What about welcome, you? Welcome, ma'am. Welcome to our school. Thank you, thank you. Today morning, we got a call and they said from Ministry of Education, somebody is coming for inspection. So I think you are Afnita, ma'am, right? Yes, yes, yes. And your good name, please? My name is Jahita uh, Hamid and I am the HM of the school. Okay, ma'am. Okay, let us sit, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Come on, come on. Thank, welcome, ma'am, to our office. Now sit down. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I have come here as a, yeah, it's a part of an inspection, you know that. So okay. I want to check some yeah registers and all registers and records of yours, okay. and uh, yeah, can I see your educational records? Yeah, we are keeping different types of records over here. There are like uh, educational records. So you first would be which one would you like to see, ma'am? Yeah, well, I want educational records. First, okay, okay which in educational records, okay. Here are some uh, registers. So for a uh, I'll just show you one register now. Okay. Yes, ma'am, you can go through this register. Mm -hmm. So here we keep the records of, uh, in the register, you will find the records of all the children's information. And you can see their attendance, their uh, uh, means parents, uh, all the information, everything. Is there, and wow. their, uh, yeah, 
yes you will get all the rest and now now we have made it everything very digitalized also so if you just click their gr number you will get all the informations of the children okay so very good very good and who and all are keeping the uh, copies of timetable that attendance with rental ah yes ma'am uh, regarding the timetable the, the starting from the H, uh, from the hod hod is their supervisor for the class teacher and uh, we just keep a copies also in case any teacher is absent um, we will we will share the copies with the other class teachers also uh, so that they will know if any teacher is absent uh, we will give to them so uh, to adjust the periods and all good 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 and can i see your general records general records yeah so we are having so many things in the general records for a for an example i can just show you this one for example this is just a sample so in general records actually we we have so many more details about uh, the especially about the duty register book this is the register book of all the staff and even the visitors books we are keeping there is a log book also here so mm -hmm. uh, if anybody is coming from outside we we mention the day time everything and nobody is supposed to visit the children without taking prior appointment and we definitely uh, we make sure the we take uh, we make sure that they have, they have to come with the parents uh, letter or anything or the parents should inform us before when, when they're coming mm -hmm. and this one is about the admissions all the admission all the details of the admissions of all children are there Uh, but nowadays we have made it uh, digitalized and as well as we are keeping a soft copy also hard copy and soft copy both are available so that if any other calamities or some problems comes in between so we won't be in problem very good very good and who's keeping health records health records yeah definitely health records yeah i think i'll just send somebody to bring one of the health record yeah we are uh, actually the class teacher is maintaining and as well as the clinic the nurse uh, the doctor we have the doctor comes only twice in a week but uh, there is uh, a nurse always uh, the complete time the whole time the nurse is available in the school so here we are keeping the health records of all the children with the nurse and also the class teacher is maintaining it the copies Okay. So ah uh, yes, thank uh, yes we got one. Uh, I think one is uh, enough. Just you can go oh, through. Okay. 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 Something is missing, right? Uh, what is it exactly? Yeah. Something is missing in the health record channel. You want to. updated yeah the problem is that yeah we, we maximum we try from the parents to get the vaccination copies and all but if they are not submitting what we will do ma'am mm -hmm. we are asking the parents to submit to so that the class teacher can keep the copies and then we forward it to nurse through also to the clinic also so mm -hmm. is it important the vaccination they are yeah, taking from outside yeah it is very important yeah Should keep that uh, every details of the chat, children's immunization, like vaccination, everything. Okay, it's very important health report. Okay, And definitely, yeah. definitely, we will make those really? changes. We, I promise that next time when you come, those changes will be definitely done. Okay. And uh, what about yeah? You are giving the proper training for the teachers and all. Yes, yes, yes. Monthly, actually, we try to keep monthly workshops. and sometimes due to some problems if the workshop is not uh, the, that particular month if we are not able to do the next month we will do it two, two times we will give it uh, see yeah, we are keeping the records everything of that also the it comes uh, we are keeping uh, that those records of the teachers who have even attended the those workshops and we are giving them the certificates also and i hope this will definitely be will uh, help them for the Uh, their career growth if they has many certificates they get right ma'am so the all those things are definitely maintained and we are keeping those records of the train that is the we keep under this training register this all this records are there in this training register ma'am yes ma'am good to yeah you are giving i am so happy that you are giving the training each month do very good very good and yeah. Uh, yeah uh you might uh, yeah you might face about so many types of children uh, different types of children are in your classes yes yes definitely yeah yeah so for that uh, what and all reports you are keeping there 
Yeah. Yeah. So uh, all the class teachers are maintaining an, an anecdotal records. That's for sure. That each and every child should have that. Uh, we mm -hmm. uh, the teachers have to record their behavior and uh, what what is in the inside the classroom and also outside the classroom. And also, uh, whatever uh, some nice incidents, whatever is coming from them, uh, or whatever they have narrated, that also the teachers are maintaining as anecdotal mm -hmm. records. Uh, and definitely, we are maintaining the cumulative records also of all the children, uh, especially their uh, talents and skills, all are recorded in that. And when they're co going from the school, all these will be printed in a report card and will be given to them. But like ma'am, as you have told, we don't we do, we have case study records with us, but not all the children. Only few those which we feel the teacher will feel are having some complicated uh, problems or character in them, unusual character. So yes, um, not for all of them. So few children we are maintaining it, and that uh, even the class teachers and as well as the counselors are keeping those records with them. And in between in the class, the counselors are coming and checking the updates and giving them some more uh, works or activities to bring them out from their problems. First, they will study the children's problems. They will also contact the parents and they will take a study from the parents also, from where they're about their background, everything. And then uh, they will do some further, I can't say treatment, further sessions will be done for those children by with the help of the counselors in the school. So we are having a good department of good, well, uh, very good counselors. So they are taking care of all these things. And How many counselors are there? How many counselors are there? We are having nine at the at, at this time. At the, now we are having nine. We are trying to hire more nowadays because of this uh, this digital technology era, and also the parents are also busy working. Very uh, so many problems the children are facing because of the mental problems, some other kind of problems. Right. So right. We, uh, we if we any parents comes to us telling that we are facing this problem, please help us out. The first thing is that we will just send them to counselors and we will tell them they are here just to help you. Don't worry. And uh, uh, we are happy that some of the parents are willingly coming forward and asking for more help and guidance. So it is easy for us. Yes. Yeah, that's easy. And what about the salary register? Uh, yeah, salary definitely. We are maintaining that salary register also. And every teachers are having their own portals and we are sending updated salary slips in that portals. And if they ask for any purpose, then we are giving the soft copies also to them. But it is all maintained and every every monthly the mails are uh, with the attaching the salary slip we are, we are sending to them. And the salary is being tra uh, transferred through bank account only, but still the slips are sent to them through mails. Okay. And other than this, what and all registry you are keeping? Uh, yeah. So we are having registers. Uh, you are asking, sir. You are asking, ma'am. You are asking about the registers or uh, which are all, yeah, record, all the records. Yeah, record, yeah, all the records and all. Yeah, about the for records, many things we are keeping. This is our uh, calendar, school calendar, and uh, you can go through it. And so you can see uh, the front page and the back page was designed by one of our students. So this year's calendar, so all the informations of the schools, uh, this year's uh, one year plan, everything is given in this calendar. And we, all the copies are given to all the children so that the parents and our children will come to know ahead what is the this year's plan, complete plan, also the holidays, any important events, everything is given in this calendar. This is very important. And yeah, this is one of the, I can show you one of the uh, sample of the report card. This is last year's report card, annual, uh, annual report card. and. Uh, now the year ending is coming only now. So this is the last year's report card. You can see, go through the sample, ma'am. And then we are having some uh, visitors book also. As I've told, it is very important that we keep the, uh, the all the informations who is visiting our school and for what purpose they are coming. That also we are meaning and what time and date is there. And very importantly, this is the stock register. Uh, uh, all the uh, all the details about the school furniture, learning aids, books, uh, uniform, 
uh, all the every every stationery whatever we are giving even the library records are in the stock register how much how many books we are uh, collecting even we are keeping a small records of the books donated by children also so that we will know how many number of books the children have gone through how many they are ready to donate even these things we are keeping and also this uh, regarding the fee collection it is completely digitalized and uh, uh, it will go the um, account, the parents will be getting the receipt but at the same time all the records are kept here also so uh, with this with this uh, the management can know how uh, the un understand the you know the income uh, everything about the school so accordingly the management can do certain things and if the parents are delaying in payment of fees even that also uh, we are sending them as a very gentle reminder we'll be sending them through mails or through messages so definitely the parents will cooperate accordingly yes yeah, i am pleased with your record keeping and all yes everything was good so one thing you remember that it helps record Does yeah it sure sure sure, sure ma'am next time when you come i'll make sure that those things are ready and we because we need the cooperation of the parents also for that yes, yes. so definitely i'm definitely this week itself we'll be sending a gentle reminder to the parents to submit those okay okay good thanks Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. And I'm happy that you have visited our school. So see you very soon. Super, 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 Hi, good evening or good evening. Hi guys. Welcome to our new episode of Talk Show. Yeah, here is presenting some teachers. Yeah, in the different different schools. Please welcome, welcome all of you our talk show. Please welcome. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, they are giving some importance of information about good qualities of teacher. Yeah, first I welcome Gita Ma'am for introducing their herself. Please welcome, welcome Gita Ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I'm uh, Gita Kain, uh, the student of batch 30 at CDC batch 30. Yeah. Can I start, ma'am? Yes, yes, ma'am. Sure. Please yeah. Me, ma so, yeah. Go, good afternoon, everyone. Today I'm going to uh, uh, talk about uh, the subject um, that is uh, about the quality of a teacher. One of the quality of a teacher that is the aesthetic sense. Yeah. What is the definition? Yes. Yeah. What is the definition mm -hmm. of aesthetic sense? It is just, just having the sense of the beautiful. Yeah, then the word science, science behind that. Science, uh, science of the aesthetics, aesthetic is concerned with the, 
that is a study of a, of a mind and emotions in relation to the sense of beauty. I think it has uh, it plays a crucial role in uh, in early childhood development. So, in order to develop uh, the sense uh, aesthetic in children, uh, the teacher should encourage to experience and create what the beautiful uh, beautiful things in the nature nature beauty and uh, art different types of art forms and the interpersonal relationship and different types of plays and everything is there so that uh, the teacher should you know to and try to understand the beauty of all these things and when young children uh, see the connections and importance of music you know that music dance different dance forms that visual arts and we can say pretend play uh, that the, everything uh, that is uh, uh, definitely increase the what they increase the power of uh, their imagination and creativity. And through this experience, the children get motivated, motivated by themselves. Yes, uh, this uh, this in turn increase their uh, self confidence and then self esteem, self-respect, as well as mutual respect. So all these are essential to the child's in the in early childhood, early, uh, in the early childhood onwards. So uh, these are the, I can say, these are the stepping stones to attain their goals in future. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Next, I invite. Yeah, please welcome Adira, ma'am. Yeah. Please, your two introduce her yourself. Please welcome, welcome, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. So, good evening, all. I'm Adira. Uh, I'm working as a teacher in a little angel school in Calicut. So, I'm very happy to join in this program today. I'm very happy. So teachers play a very uh, important role in a uh, student's life. So a teacher's uh, presence in a um, presence in a student uh, in a student's life can be boost their uh, boost their uh, moral and guide them to be a more valuable in life. Now to perform these tasks perfectly, a teacher must uh, possess certain qualities. Uh, that is, uh, a teacher should be impartial, must treat all the all the uh, children, all the students equally. So that is very important. So one of the main important quality is mental control. So that is, we have now the teachers should have the uh, capacity to control a five external and five internal senses and thereby control over the mind. So that means uh, we don't show our emotions uh, in front of the children. So we have some uh, personal that matters. So we don't show in the front of uh, children. So we always smiling and we give a uh, smile for the children. We always are standing in the classroom with beautiful smile. So we, uh, so there are so many qualities of it, uh, teacher. So one of the important qualities is that mental control. Okay. Thank mental you. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Next, I welcome Shubha Galea, ma'am. Shubha, ma'am, yeah. Welcome, ma'am, to introduce her to herself. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. I'm Shubha Galea. I'm in working uh, LF English Medium LP School, Mangalore. I think the main quality of teacher is sacrifice. Sacrifice means the base of love. Teachers uh, loved all children. And the school teacher need to take different roles like mother, sister, friend, servant, etc. So they must have the sense of patience and sacrifice. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, thank you, thank you, ma'am. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, next. Shibila, ma'am. Please welcome, welcome, Shibila, ma'am. To thank, her. You, thank you, thank you, ma'am. I'm very happy to get this opportunity to participate in your show. Yes, I'm Shibila. I'm working as a teacher in Benchmark International Public School. Since yes. 10 years, 
have experienced i have actually we all know that the teachers are the skill architecture of the future generations and also we face the qualities of a teacher uh, the word itself it has meaning the each letter of a teacher is meaningful that t stands for trustworthy and trustworthy and e stands for earnest a stands for ability c stands for character h stands for honest and e stands for enthusiasm and r stands for reasoning and also each letter in teacher is meaningful and also uh, another quality of a teacher is the teacher should be a psychologist the teacher only who knows the psychologist only can deal her children and uh, behavior and children uh, according to the timely all children are unique and all the children have different talent skill and all are coming from different backgrounds and everything will be different for the chil uh, children so yeah. the uh, psychology knows teachers only can deal and behave her children as timely and also uh, you uh, the teacher who knows the psychology helps to create a background and environment in her children according to the different stage of their growth development yes, yeah. thank you thank you thank you shubila ma'am thank you ma'am yeah the time for our break short break okay yeah we can continue next round yeah please tell me this is the importance of good qualities of importance of the teacher please welcome gida ma'am please tell ma'am tell me ma'am yes thank you so much yeah then i am uh, next i am talking about the another quality of teacher that is about the punctuality So you know that the teachers are the architect and uh, the they are the builders, the builders of the uh, nation, and um, and uh, they are the philo philosophers and the guide for the children. The character and the personality of a teacher directly influences the children. So the another other one of the most important things is that. Uh, the knowledge the no the, the knowledge uh, of importance of time a time is the utmost necessity in everyone's life whether young or old so that uh, that punctuality that punctuality in time i'm talking about the punctuality in time yeah punctual uh, for the teacher for you know, yeah yeah and then yeah the habit of uh, punctuality is required to be formed at a very uh, young age and habits uh, habits once formed uh, whether uh, good or bad never easily uh, removed so the punctuality among the teachers uh, uh, is the reflection of self discipline and um, that their devotion Uh, devotion to work you know and uh, that that uh, that in part the and this way are uh, the if she is showing this uh, that this qualities in uh, she is possessing these qualities in her that will impart the, to the children gradually so and also students are uh, impressed with the teachers uh, 
when they are learn from the class yeah they are watching the uh, teachers what are the habits of the teachers possessing what are the knowledge good knowledge is given to the children that uh, that uh, uh, that should be very careful and they learn everything even though uh, even though the negative things is important they will they the children will accept it so uh, here that the, the the quality of punctuality if she is the teacher is not following the punctuality how we can expect that from children so it is very important that the, uh, the teacher will be uh, always kept uh, always uh, show the punctual uh, to, to be, be, be will be uh, always be in a uh, person some have some lot of qualities especially in the case of if uh, punctuality is one of the most important thing for a school teacher that come uh, the teacher should be should be present in time if teacher is not in the time when the bell rang what will happen children will have that ability they will inculcate that uh, that negative uh, habit in them so all the students are so i strongly i strongly feel that teacher must um, inculcate what the habit of punctuality and show uh show the uh, but show, to whom the, they are the budding students they are the grooming or the growing students they are the blooming students so how important the time in the life and how to value it thank you thank you thank you thank you so much gida ma'am thank you ma'am yeah. next i welcome adira ma'am thank you welcome welcome adira ma'am Yeah, thank you, Mr. Ma'am. Another good quality of teachers. Another yes. one. Yes, ma'am. The yes, actually, no. The teachers are the uh, still the architects of a uh, future generation and the social ideal. So it is very important mental and emotional development of a child from two years to five, five years of age. The knowledge and the experience getting this age leads them, uh, leads them to future life. it is the duty of a preschool teacher to create a good uh, learning environment uh, learning environment for all children and uh, mold them to be a good social citizen of tomorrow thus a preschool teacher should be equipped with the different qualities that is one of the uh, important qualities that interest so preschool uh, not uh, no people uh, having interest and aptitude in teaching profession should only join this field so uh, don't treat it as a way of livelihood as the teachers job demand full of commitment and dedication so if we are interested and we can uh, uh, join in this course in the as a teacher so uh, yes so we have a full of dedication uh, to take in this job so that is uh, uh, everyone have the interest yeah, if the people have interest so they can uh, take this profession so uh, yes ma'am that Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Adhira. Thank you so much. Yeah. Next, I welcome Shubhagala, ma'am. Please welcome, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Please tell, ma'am. Another point, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. The another quality of teacher is uh, model. Uh, yeah. Teachers are uh, key model. Uh, the children uh, are imitate the others like sponge. Uh, they uh, spend their more time in school. so teachers can influence the attitudes values and behavior of their uh, students um, a positive role model uh, serves as an example inspiring children uh, to live meaningful lives teacher a uh, constant presence uh, in uh, child's life um, they influence children as much as if not even more than parents do yes ma'am yeah, the teacher is a role model ोशल <laughs> truthfulness punctuality like our shubha ma'am our geeta ma'am said like that more 
social values like truthfulness, punctuality, honesty, love, all want to keep this very important in teachers. And also patience. Patience is the another very important quality of a teacher, especially for preschool teachers. They, yes, small children have more curiosity. They have a nature of innocence and they have more doubts. They are very present in everything, their surroundings. So teachers want to be more patient to clear all their doubts. And also, yes, and also, yes, yes, Shibila, ma'am. In this age, uh, yes, the children more ask more more questions. How, what, or yeah, yeah. There are more more yes. questions. So, yes, if we clear their doubts, then also they are repeating same question. Also, they are repeating. Yeah. So, uh, so patience is one of the most important quality of a teacher to answer their all questions. And also, another quality means love and affection. It is very important. The children have coming in different backgrounds. They are getting unconditional love from their home. So as a teacher, we also want to provide more unconditional love for our children also. Then they feel some, uh, they feel care and security. It also uh, helps to develop a positive and comfortable zone for their learning also. And also another quality means that health. Health condition is very important. Yes, we also want to engage in their activities. We want to, every time we want to uh, observe them and we want to engage in their activities. So health conditions. So uh, uh, at the time of that uh, school working hours, we have no rest. So health condition also very important. And also equality. Equality and economic, economic is very important. We want to consider all children as equal. Don't discriminate the children uh, on the basis of their color, status, their religion. We want to consider all children. And also, uh, in the, all children have different talent and skill. We want to consider all children as equal. Don't discriminate the children. And also, the teachers want to be more conference and economic. Key. That means the teachers wa uh, want to, every time teachers want to deal the children with a positive mind and pleasant mind. All have, we are humans, all have, tensions, worries, many problems, but don't, don't show in front of that students. It will affect their, it will affect their studies also. Their conference will decrease and many problems will come in their children also. So teachers want, want the capacity to control all the emotions. They always want to keep a pleasant mind in front of their children. Yeah, yes, don't compare with the other children. It's very important. Right, yes, ma'am. And also another quality means that reading habit. Good reading habit is very important. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, changes that coming with new ideas. And uh, a teacher who has that good reading habit helps to bring in new ideas and innovations in their teaching. So reading, uh, uh, yes. So yeah. reading also one of the important quality of a good teacher. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's time for our find a power shop. Okay, we will meet in again next episode. Okay, bye bye. Bye. Wow, superb, superb, all of you, superb. Wow, well done. Yeah.